Peep, peep, everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Um, today, we're going to look at the contents of a binder that I bought at an antique mall called the Street of Shops in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, I, I'll put a link down in the description below, but I previously bought uh, another binder from this same antique mall from the same seller in the same booth uh, and it was a $25 binder that was a mixture of 1990s cards and uh, and junk wax and there was a lot of stuff in there that I didn't have and I thought I got a pretty good deal on it and there were a few little surprises mixed in uh, um, and uh, I think a lot of people like liked looking at that and uh, most of them seemed favorable about it uh, which made me happy to, to see that I was on the same track as a lot of other folks were. Um, this binder I bought at the uh, the Street of Shops is was thirty dollars this time. It had a, a sticky note on the top of the the cover here that uh, they took off at the register to mark the price, and all it had labeled on it was baseball stars and semi stars. And I started paging through it, and it, and some of it looked like the the same kind of 90s stuff that I saw in the other binder, but uh, it tended to lean more towards modern times. And there were a lot of Topps Archives cards from years that I, I didn't collect. I was out of the hobby from the mid 90s up until uh, 2021. And so there's like a 30, almost a 30 year gap there in my collecting. Uh, so these were a lot of cards that were that would fill some holes in that gap. So I thought this was a good opportunity. So um, I'm going to stand up and hold my phone and, and hope that uh, you guys can uh, let me get it off of here. Sorry about that. And let's check it out. All right. Well, it starts off with 95 Select. And these were similar cards that were in the previous binder that I bought. Um, Sheffield, Glavin, McGuire, Griffey, Ripken, Bonds, Bagwell, and Clemens, and here's a 94 Frank Thomas from Top. So it's it's basically the stars of the day back then. Um, we have a 97 Leaf, uh, Hideo Nomo. Here's a Holographics card of Manny Ramirez, uh, a Top's finest Joey Vada, which is a more modern card. And we go back to the 89 tops all stars um, glossy sendings I think they were called of star John Doc Gooden and 81 tops Don Sutton uh, here's some junk wax here with the 90 bonds do we have a Clemens from Stadium Club and a Manny Ramirez rookie card junk wax here with the 90 Fleer Griffey but we have 97 leaf um, Sammy Sosa and some SP authentic with Lofton and JD Drew Sheffield and Jackson on Stadium Club and some 2001 Topps Opening Day, which is uh, cards I've never seen before. Jeff Bagwell, Tony Gwynn, and Alex Rodriguez. We have a Frank Thomas Griffey, uh, Golden Moments Clemente from the same set. Edgar Martinez. This one's from 2000 Topps Opening Day. It's a Barry Bonds, 400 homers and 400 steals. As I understand it, there were a couple of these issued for that set that uh, honored Bonds. And here he is on the 2001 Topps opening day card. There's Maddox there. There's a recent Donruss card. Uh, I forget what this is called. This is from 92 Select, and it was like a separate set that mostly dealt with statistics. And on the backs, it, it gave where the player was in the uh, league leaders for that year. And this one was for Gary Sheffield. Um, global impact card for Sammy Sosa from Upper Deck. There's a 92 design Joey Votto that's, I think, from Archives. Scorecard of Nolan Ryan. Here's some Archives cards. Jose Canseco and Sonny Gray. There's a Mike Piazza from 94 Fleer. Uh, some more Archives cards. Hanley Ramirez, John Lester, and Bartolo Colon. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera straight and... On the cards the best I can. I'll try to do my best. Duke Snyder. We have some SP Authentic. Andrew Jones. And uh, Gary Sheffield. Sosa. Kerry Wood. Um, Randy Johnson. Tom Glavin. And here's Piazza. Here's a Bo Jackson card. 
from uh, Score 1990. We have uh, 1990 uh, Swell Baseball Greats, uh, Dizzy Dean here and Gaylord Perry here. There's a 90 Fleer Jackson, a Sammy Sosa from Stadium Club. Um, this is a 2000 Pacific, uh, what was this called? Gold, die, gold Crown Die Cuts or something. Um, pretty, pretty interesting looking card. This one caught my attention. I had to look this one up. This is a 2015 Topps Archives John Carlos Stanton, but it is a short print color swap where the the border is different from the regular base card. Uh, so that that was an interesting find, and and I don't know what eBay sold comps were going for for this, but the high value in Beckett was 15 for it, so it's probably about a, a ten dollar card. So like. That and that combined probably are half the value of my $30 binder so far. So I thought that was pretty cool. Topps Gallery masterpiece of uh, Mark McGuire. Uh, there's Frank Thomas from an opening day and Greg Maddox from Upper Deck Defensive Gems. Gary Sheffield here of something called Nicknames. And uh, Leather and Lumber 05. That's Roy Holiday and Josh Beckett. John Smoltz, we have Melky Cabrera on an archives card, uh, Manny Ramirez, Flair, Buster Posey, Topps Chrome. Uh, this is an Alex Rodriguez, um, what's it called, Upper Deck Classic Alumni 1993. Uh, this is actually from the same set his rookie card is in, so this isn't technically considered a rookie card but you know it came out this in the same set so it, i don't think it's worth as much but it, it's a nice nice addition uh collector's club of um collector's choice i'm sorry mark mcguire another 2001 tops opening day chipper jones there's some more sp authentic cards adam dunn uh mcguire from stadium club i think that's uh i think that's from 1991 and um, Bartolo Colon, um, Jeff Bagwell, and Chipper Jones from SP Authentic. The, uh, this Strike Force card is kind of neat design, I thought, of uh, John Smoltz. And we have uh, Summit, 95 Summit. Is that right? Yeah, Gary Sheffield and Sammy Sosa. I've never seen those before. Uh, here's some more from that set Bonds, Winfield, and Bonds again. Ken Seiko. Ramirez, McGuire, Maddox, Clemens, and Deion Sanders. Uh, Jeff Bagwell and Randy Johnson. There's a 95 Select Smoltz. Uh, Jason Giambi from that same Summit set, but I don't think that's actually a rookie card, although they're labeling it as one. It's probably a rookie for score, but not in the uh some other card company um issued an earlier one for him 92 flare ultra sammy sosa select sosa darren dalton cecil fielder and ricky henderson uh, some more labeled rookies but i don't think they're actual rookie cards uh chipper jones hideo nomo piazza tony gwynn jim tomey I mean, the, the Jones one came out a couple years earlier than that. Uh, this was a cool card. I, I don't think it's really worth a lot, but I think I just love the design of this, seeing Ken Griffey Jr. on the 82 Tops design. That's a really nice-looking card. And here's some more um, archives of Jason Worth. That's a Manny Machado rookie card there and Prince Fielder. I didn't see that when I was in the Antique Mall. <laughs> that, that came later. Chris Davis, Robinson Cano. Here's some more Strike Force cards of Randy Johnson. Um, Bowman's Best Ichiro and Buster Posey. There's Max Scherzer. Jared Weaver. There's Machado on a Topps Chrome on the 83 design, which is a neat looking card. Uh, this is an 83 Donruss uh, Hall of Fame Heroes, Hank Aaron. Uh, there's Clayton Kershaw. Garrett Cole from Heritage. Um, don't remember which, which, uh, let me sit down and look at my laptop because I took some notes on this one. Um, hold on a second. 
That's from 2013 Topps Archives, and it's called 4-in-1, and it's a sticker card. And uh, Beckett listed as a retail value at 12 bucks, and I saw somebody selling it on eBay for 18 so I don't know why, why this one's so expensive. Uh, I suspect it, those prices are um, exaggerated, and this might be more like a 5 to $8 card. But it's pretty cool looking. It's got Ty Cobb, Willie Mays, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., and Mike Trout on it. And uh, if you're curious, uh, this is the back is pretty much blank, and there is your number for it. And it's based on some kind of sticker set that came out in 1969. There's a Justin Verlander, 83 All-Star design, and Giancarlo Stanton. This is from 88 Classic. That's McGuire and uh, Mattingly on there. Uh, Power Brokers, uh, Jim Tomey. Um, one of the Heritage sets has these flashbacks. Well, I think they all do. This one's Kofax. Uh, this is from Triple Play, uh, Gallery of Stars, uh, Dave Winfield. More from that Select Statistics set. That's Frank Thomas and Barry Bonds. Uh, this is a Blue Parallel Enos Slaughter that actually is numbered. I don't know if I can focus that 116 out of 199. It's got a little bit of white on the border, so I wasn't happy about that. But still, how many times do you get a numbered card in one of these uh, these binders? Uh, and here's the regular card. That's uh, the part of the base set there. And there's Prince Fielder and Steven Strasburg. And some more of these flashback cards, Colfax and uh, Brock and uh, Brooks Robinson. Uh, this is from 2022 Topps Heritage. In all the boxes and things that I bought from that set, I never pulled this one, so it's cool to get this. Uh, sometimes there's little treats in these things um, that I didn't even know when I was looking at it at the antique mall and looked at it later. It's like, oh, look at that. I, I didn't have that card, and here it is. Joe Maurer and Giancarlo Stanton on the uh, 1990 design. Uh, I presume that's from Archives. Uh, Cole Hamels and uh, Gary Sheffield. This is called Fleer Box Score. It's a set I've never heard of. And there's A.J. Burnett. And I think these are from 97 Upper Deck. They led their set off with Jackie Robinson that year. And these are really neat looking. Kind of like have a sepia tone to them. But it's, it's pretty cool looking. I don't think all of them are in here. I think there were seven cards, but only four were in here. Um... This is a Topps High Tech card, George Brett. Not sure what year this came out, and um, I'd have to look that one up. It, the backs of these cards are really hard to read. They've got really small text. So I'll look into that one later. More Strike Force cards, Greg Maddox and Hideo Nomo. There's some archives, archives of Dustin Bedroya on the 85 design, Madison Bumgarner on the Heritage. One of those Conlon collection cards, Tony Lazeri. Some more 2001 Tops Opening Day. Uh, there's another one from Opening Day. These are Fleer Greats of the Game. That's Mel Ott and um, Don Drysdale. Uh, this is a subset in 95 Summit called Bat Speed. That's Griffey, Thomas, and Bagwell, Piazza, Bonds, and Puckett. And another one with Ken Seiko. And this one here is called Special Delivery. Greg Maddox. A Bowman card of Buster Posey and Joey Votto. Collector's Choice Ripken. Uh, Pinnacle Ripken. Ripken on the 2001 Tops Opening Day. Upper Deck Frank Thomas. David Price and Tops Archives. Some more Archives cards on the 82 design. It's Reggie Jackson and Joey Votto. we got Stan Musial on the 79 design. Mookie Betts and Frank Thomas. Joe Morgan. Aroldis Chapman, Tom Seaver, and Coco Crisp. Some more Archives cards. You see why I really wanted this one? I just love these Archives cards. I just love when they reuse these old designs and put modern players on it. Like Wade Boggs on the 72 design is really neat looking. Seaver and David Price, Baumgartner, Clayton Kershaw, Coco Crisp on the 66 design. We have Chipper Jones and Bowman Chrome. 
Uh, Leaf Rookies and Stars, Andrew Jones. That's a, a, a set that I've only recently found out about. Jackie Robinson on the 82 Tops design. Isn't that a cool looking card? John Lackey and Heritage, Ichiro, Chris Sale, Don Sutton. There's an 81 Tops uh, Stolen Base Leaders with Henderson and LaFleur on it. Uh, player Greats of the Game, that's Rod Carew. Uh, here's some prospect cards from one of the 90s top sets. I don't remember the year, but I should be ashamed of myself for not knowing that. But, eh, it happens sometimes. There's too much to remember, you know. That's Vladdy Guerrero Sr. and Andrew Jones on that one. And that one has Scott Rowland on it. And I don't think either one of those are considered actual rookie cards. But still, it's pretty cool to have. And there's Frank Thomas on Stadium Club. Clemens on Stadium Club. Some more SP Authentic cards. Ichiro and CC Sabathia. Bartolo Colon on 2001 Tops Opening Day. Here's a 1978 Tops uh, Leading Fireman with Raleigh Fingers and Bill Campbell on it. Uh, I pulled that one out before I shot the video, and that one is kind of beat up. You can't really see it too well here in the pocket, but it's it's pretty beat up. I think there's a, a crease here that I don't think you can see on the camera. Uh, Jim Tomey from Omega, which is a set I've never seen. Ernie Banks from Topps Gallery. Uh, 90, I think this is 93 Donris and a rated rookie of Mike Piazza. I'm, I don't believe that's con technically considered a rookie card for him. Uh, but still, it's a great card to have. Uh, Chipper Jones. Jeff Bagwell. John Carlos Stanton from Bowman. Uh, don't remember what this one is. It's a Leaf card. Can't quite make out the, uh, here on it. It's called... Gold Leaf Stars. It features Gary Sheffield on the front and Edgar Martinez on the back. And here's a profiles from Tony Gwynn for Gary Sheffield. Uh, Lumber Company from Fleer 94 of Palmero. Manny Ramirez on an Upper Deck Vintage card. Uh, Max Scherzer, Perez, and Phil Necro on Archives cards. Uh, I believe that's the 53 design. It's the, sim the same design they're using for the Topps Living Set. Uh, Heritage Hanley Ramirez, a flashbacks card for Ernie Banks, Randy Johnson on the 79 design. Another Bat Speed card from Summit of Ken Griffey. Jim Abbott from Score, Tony Gwynn, Alex Rodriguez, some 97 Leaf, that's Sheffield and Glavin. And we have just a few more pages left. So so on 2001 Tops Opening Day. There's a 97 Leaf Jason Giambi. Uh, Jose Canseco. This is a, a separate Rangers team set that I think Stadium Club came out with. Uh, another flashbacks card of Brock McGuire on the 2001 Tops Opening Day. There's Matt Holiday on Archives. Another 95 Select with Jose Canseco. More 90 swell uh, baseball greats. Drysdale and Yastrzemski. Uh, Leather and Lumber 05. That's Gwyn and Vladdy Guerrero. Uh, Frank Thomas on Upper Deck. Piazza. There's an 82 Tops. Uh, Steve Garvey in action. Chris Sale from Bowman. Josh Hamilton from an Archives card. This is 86 Tops. Jack Morris and Dennis Eckersley. Uh, and I think this is the last page. We have a Randy Wolf, uh, Pee Wee Reese. I don't. Let me sit down and, and double check that one. That one I had some difficulties figuring out. That's called uh, Signature Rookies Gold Standard Legends, and I couldn't find too much info, info about that one. Um, I think they're going uh, on eBay for about two to three dollars each. Um, this is an insert set for EXL from the in, Intense insert set of Griffey Jr. Um, Beckett lists this as high value of 15 bucks for this card. Uh, I presume it's probably worth less than that, but still not a bad card to have on the last page. So a nice surprise at the end. 
Some team leader cards. Uh, there's a Griffey Jr. from 94 Tops. And the last three cards of the binder is uh, Donruss 2002 Fan Club of Johnny Damon, a 92 Donruss Mike Mussina, and an Upper Deck Ovation Sammy Sosa Superstar Spotlights, which I've never seen before. I've never seen those before. So that is the, uh, the binder in total. Uh, down in the comments, let me know what you think of this. Did I get a good deal or not? Uh, I feel like I did. I, I feel like I did. I mean, there were three cards in there that were definitely over $10. Um, so there is your 30 bucks right there. And if I counted correctly, this binder had 28 pages and every pocket had one card in it. So if you take nine and you multiply it by 28 you get 252 cards and if you do the math with 30 dollars that came, comes out to approximately 12 cents a card so uh a lot of these cards i am absolutely sure are 25 cent 50 cent cards that you might find in your local card shops 25 cent and 50 cent bins or an antique mall that has bins um so when you add all that up, uh, that's like uh, two to as much as four times of the 12 cents per card that I paid for it. So I, I think I got a pretty good deal on that. Uh, and it was uh, less junk wax than the other binder. So it, 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 in one way, it filled a lot of holes in my collection. And for the seller, it was a way to get rid of a bunch of stuff that either he or she could not sell uh, individually or they just wanted to move this out of the way because it was just taking up space so this was kind of a win-win situation seller gets rid of a bunch of cards they don't want uh, a buyer gets a bunch of cards they do want so i think this worked out for um both the seller and myself um i also bought a second binder on that this most recent trip that features nothing but yankees cards and i'll show you that in an upcoming video uh, once I sit down and, and look at it first so I get some idea of, of what's in there so I don't just go through this blindly and uh, um, come off as like I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> which is usually the case anyway. So even when I try to make it look like I know what I'm doing, I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know in the comments what you think, like I said before, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you so desire. I appreciate your support. Um, if you don't think this was a great deal, go ahead and let us know why. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a reseller, so maybe this wasn't a good deal if you're a reseller, if you want to resell these cards, but I'm not a reseller. I'm a buyer only. I, I'm only a collector. I don't have any plans on selling anything or dealing anything. So from a collector standpoint, I think this is a good deal. From a reseller, it might be a different standpoint. And that's fair. I, I understand that. Uh, so I'm going to stop yammering on and on and on about stuff. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, take care, everyone. Beep, beep.